What's going on, Motor City Sports Talk? We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfella uh, with another installment of Cam Battles. We started off yesterday uh, with the new installment, Cam Battles. It's episode two. The first episode was uh, about the running backs, and we talking about uh, positional battles that's going to be going down in training camp and uh, fighting for number one, number two, number three spot. Um, we're going to do this, you know, until, we, you know, we're done to training camp start. Today we spotlighting the tight ends, and that's uh, Luke Wilson, came from Seattle. Michael Roberts got drafted last year from Toledo University. And, um, you know, Atlanta Falcon tight end, leaving Tulio Lolo. I can't pronounce his name. I'm going to call him LT. <laughs> uh, going into camp now, uh, the guy from Atlanta leaving, hopefully I'm saying his name right. I'm probably not. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Um, he only had like 25 catches in his entire career or his last two seasons, man. So he's not a catching tight end, but he's six eight. He's tall. He's more of a blocker. He's gonna be a blocking tight end. He's gonna kind of be like your Pettigrew, you know what I'm saying, as far as blocking and uh, of that nature. Um, so I wouldn't expect him to start unless it was a lot of injuries that came through um, the season. But he, he he can catch a little bit. He's tall. He's a big target. Um, might potentially be a, a red zone target because, or, or big red zone target because, you know, people think that he in there in a block and then, you know, you do a play action and he, you know, he, he ended up sneaking out the, uh, out, you know, sneaking out on a delay route or something like that and catching the touchdown. You can't miss six, eight. And he, you know, I seen him catch a few balls. So he got some good hands. He's just not as mobile as other two tight ends. Now, um, Luke Wilson, um, uh, you know, he going to be battling, for the starter position, most people think he's probably going to go ahead and start, um, which I think that's the safest bet. But um, Wilson is more known as a, as a tight end that, that can run, athletic, that can get down the field and really stretch the field and make plays down the field. You know what I'm saying? That's that's his that's his MO, his mobility, his agility, you know, his, his deep speed for a tight end. Um, good target. You know, uh, somebody said, oh, he dropped a couple balls. I mean, it comes with the territory, but I see him catch way more balls than I've seen him drop. I haven't seen him remember, drop him a lot of critical deep balls, and he made his he made his uh you know he made his ends as far as with Seattle. He made a lot of plays down the field. I mean, every time you look up, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson would be scrambling and chucking the ball up, and he'll be down there catching deep balls. So, um, if anything, if any, if, if he don't bring nothing else to the table, Luke Wilson, he brings a deep threat from the tight end position. You know, he brings a guy that can stretch the deep deep end of the field, split the safeties, and, and, and get some attention, you know, taking off the receivers. You know, he's good probably on some uh, crossing routes, you know, some deep crossing routes, some post routes. Um, as far as being a big, big red zone threat, I've seen him catch some some, some good pass in the red zone. He got some good height on him. Um, but i just always known him from, Se- uh, you know, with Seattle being a deep a deep ball threat, man, a deep threat. And, um you know, and maybe in this offense, which is a more of a timing offense than a Seahawks offense, he's going to be able to showcase some of his ability as a possession receiver underneath. You know, uh, as a blocker, I, I, re- I know he really ain't known as the greatest blocker, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, but I know he's going to be able to, if he starts, it's going to be a lot of showcase of, you know, him being underneath the uh, the whip routes, the drag routes, the post routes, the curl routes, the end routes, the deep end routes, you know. You know, stuff of that nature. You know, he get his nine routes in there whatsoever and be able to drag some safeties deep and some linebackers deep in there. And uh, Michael Roberts, big, big red zone threat. He got big, big hands. Uh, Toledo, he was a big red zone threat. Last year, he didn't play that much because he was behind Darren Fields and behind Eric Ebron. And uh, for, a tight, for a rookie, a tight end, a tight end rookie, that's a tough, tough adjustment to make. And uh, even in year two, you always don't make that jump. Usually from year two to three. You see a lot of tight ends really make huge, huge jumps. But, um, you know, I think he's a dark horse in the competition. I think it's closer between him and Luke Wilson than people believe. Um, I heard he's looked phenomenal in camp. He's leaned out a lot. You can see it in his face and his body. He seemed like he took it. He took he took uh, offseason serious, and he want to play. And like I tell you, he got some really, really good hands. He's a good physical blocker. He's a, he's a, he's a dangerous deep – he's a dangerous red zone threat. He not as mobile and fast as, as Luke Wilson, but he more your physical tight end that can box out a smaller defender and, and make a big catch. His hands might be a little bit more reliable than Luke Wilson underneath. But like I said, you haven't seen a lot of Luke Wilson. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of Luke Wilson underneath. Every time I see him making a place, a big play down the field. 
But that just tells you that Robertson and Wilson can complement each other. You got a tight end that can work underneath and be a red zone threat, and then you got the tight end that can take the top off, and then you got the guy from the Atlanta, Atlanta LT that can that can block, you know, and help you in the red zone and give you a threat in the red zone as well too. So you know, ultimately, I think the, the battle is going to be between Roberts and Luke Wilson. That's going to be a, a very very intriguing battle. And I know a lot of people forgot about Michael Roberts when they got rid of Eric Ebron. Uh, even when they brought Lou Wilson in, everybody forgot about Roberts. But Roberts, it was an, was a big, big uh, playmaking threat in Toledo, and I think he learned under the two okay tight ends and Fields and, and Eric Ebron. And I think he ready to make some make some big big noise. I mean, I heard in camp, in uh, OTAs and mini camp he was tearing it up. And let's see if it transitions to putting the pads on, you know. But you know, player for player, if they play at their best, absolute best. A lot of people are gonna roll with Luke Wilson. You know, but I think Roberts got the opportunity to steal some snaps and, and steal the position. You know, if he comes in, you know, and, and, and focuses and do what he does. But ultimately, I think that they, they, they complement each other seriously. But um, Wilson probably gonna win the job. But I think Roberts is gonna be, you know, snipping at you know, you know, snipping at his heels, man. Don't be surprised if Roberts win, eventually becomes a starting tight end this year. But I think Wilson gonna gonna play early, and you know, I think he gonna be a factor. I think they're gonna play. I think they're gonna all three of them gonna complement each other. In some way, simple, uh, in some way, fashion, you know, and in some some fashion, they complement each other. But I think Wilson is be number one uh, tight end in Roberts. But I think it's gonna be a battle. Don't be surprised if Roberts at some point overtakes him. But it's Motor City Sports Talk Camp Battles, you know, episode two, and um, we will be shooting for three for some time this weekend. Uh, much blessing, to everybody. Have a safe, safe uh, Thursday and going to Friday. And um, you don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Those links are in the description or. Or uh, or usernames, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, so you know we drop that heat, and um, share, share, share. We out.